Anyway folks, how are you doing? We've been busy researching studio monitor subwoofers to help you figure out what you need to make your best audio and video content and stay on budget. Sometimes your studio monitors just don't give you enough of a low frequency response for you to be able accurately to monitor how your audio will sound across all devices. That's where the subwoofers can really help. We've chosen five that we think would make solid choices to help you with your music production. Links to all the products in the review are in the description box below, where you'll find current pricing for your region wherever possible. The video has timestamps, so that you can jump right to the subwoofer that interests you the most. Now before I move on, we'd love to hear what studio monitor subwoofer you're using right now and what you think of it. Let us know in the comments. Ok, let's get into it. Here are the top 5 best studio monitor subwoofers. The fifth product on our list is the Presonus Eris Sub 8. The Presonus Eris Sub 8 is a compact subwoofer with booming bass. It features an 8 inch or 20 cm woofer with a power output of 100 watts. This makes it surprisingly loud for its size. There's also a frequency response that goes down to 30 Hz which will give you that nice and rich bass tone. On the back of the subwoofer you'll find the stereo inputs and outputs. These connections come as RCA phono jack sockets. This lets you integrate the Eris Sub 8 into your setup easily. The dedicated low pass filter allows you to adjust the crossover frequency of your woofers accurately within a frequency range of 50 to 130 Hz. The onboard high pass filter makes sure that your sound stays clean from the unwanted bass by filtering frequencies below 80 Hz. You can turn the high pass on or off with a switch. This unit from Presonus is versatile and compatible with other active speakers. You can use it for your studio, gaming or home theatre setup. Here's something you should know before buying the Presonus Eris Sub 8. It is susceptible to electronic noise and interference, so you might want to consider your environment before choosing them. Overall, the Presonus Eris Sub 8 is perfect for an adventurous musician. It works well with any media project and shines when you make bass heavy genres such as EDM or hip hop. The fourth product on our list is the JBL Professional LSR 310S. JBL's LSR 310S is a high quality monitor subwoofer with a fantastic look and sound. The body of this speaker looks sleek with its classic black box and vinyl finish. You'll find the driver mounted on the bottom of the cabinet, with the front panel housing a slotted base port. This down angled subwoofer is perfect for small studio setups. It gives you a realistic bass sound without colouring or altering your bass frequencies. It also has a wide frequency response range that goes as low as 27Hz. The tone on the LSR 310S is detailed, natural and tight. This down firing design relies on gravity to take care of the transducer which takes the stress off the cone. This in turn gives you a more sensitive cone that is perfectly tuned. The output from this unit's 200 watt amplifier is impressive. On the back panel you'll find the input and output ports plus the controls. There's a volume knob, polarity switch, sensitivity switch and variable crossover. There are also your standard XLR and TRS inputs. Here's something you should know before buying the JBL LSR 310S. This studio monitor subwoofer requires some tuning in order to bring out its best performance. The JBL LSR 310S is perfect for home studios. The quality of this subwoofer will make your audio mixing a breeze to do. The third product on our list is the SVS 3000 Micro. The SVS 3000 Micro is a tiny studio monitor subwoofer with a bass response that will blow you away. Instead of a single front mounted driver, SVS gives you two grill covered 8 inch drivers on two sides. It also boasts a glossy body that will look classy in your studio. The two drivers are synchronised so you'll get excellent sound quality even if you turn up the volume. The 800 watt RMS amp has a 2500 watt peak output that will give you rich and booming bass. You won't have to worry about distortion on high levels with the onboard aluminium shorting ring. There's a 50 MHz analog DSP that handles filtering, EQ and dynamic management. On the back you'll find the connections and basic controls. If you want access to the advanced settings you'll have to download the SVS subwoofer app which is available for Android and iOS. The 3000 Micro is fantastic. It gives you a great bass range with strong electric notes from 45Hz to 25Hz. Even when you blast the volume everything still sounds clean and solid. Here's something you should know before buying the SVS 3000 Micro. It's not for people who work with high SPLs a lot. If you're looking for a space saving subwoofer with a sound that won't disappoint, the SVS 3000 Micro is the perfect buy. The second product on our list is the Adam Audio T10S. 
Adam Audio's T10S is a 10-inch studio monitor subwoofer with excellent compatibility. It works with the Adam Audio's T-Series and any other studio monitor you have in your setup. Its frequency spectrum goes as low as 28Hz and up to 120Hz, giving you a wide range. You have the option to set up an 80Hz limit using the crossover filter switch on the back of the unit. This will eliminate messy frequencies. You'll also find XLR and RCA connections next to it. The T10S amplifies up to 130 watts, which is more than enough to bring out the detail and quality in your sound. The build quality of this subwoofer is durable. The woofer is out of sight at the bottom of the unit to make for a clean look. The legs are made of high-grade rubber, making them flexible and sturdy while giving you support and reducing vibrations. The base reflex port at the rear also optimises the device's airflow. Here's something you should know before buying the Adam Audio T10S. It doesn't come with a bypass foot pedal, so if you're planning on making music, you might want to consider making the separate purchase. If you're looking for an affordable studio monitor subwoofer with a great range and build, the Adam Audio T10S is a great choice. The first product on our list is the Yamaha HS8 subwoofer. The Yamaha HS8 studio monitor subwoofer is a smooth sounding unit, perfect for studios. The 8 inch woofer goes down to a 22Hz base level, giving you a lower end than other subwoofers. It has a 150 watt sound amplification output, so you won't have to worry about volume limitations. The design lets it round out your lower frequencies so that you get a more intense bass. The HS8 is compatible with various other studio monitors and of course with Yamaha's HS Studio line. On the back you'll find XLR and TRS inputs along with a quarter inch jack for a microphone or instrument cable. This subwoofer is also lightweight at 27.5 pounds or 12.5 kilograms, making it ideal for travelling or mounting on your studio wall. The sound quality of the HS8 is excellent. You get an outstanding level of depth and clarity in detail. The construction is also solid, reminiscent of Yamaha's superb build quality. Here's something you should know before buying the Yamaha HS8 Studio Monitor Subwoofer. Some people find the front lights irritating while working. If you're looking for an affordable, compact and fantastic sounding subwoofer, Yamaha's HS8 Subwoofer checks all the boxes. And there you have it folks, the 5 studio monitor subwoofers that got us excited this year. If this video helped you in any way, let us know by giving it a like, and if you're new here, hitting the subscribe button. If you would like to see some more reviews from our team here at Gear Music Tech, here are a couple that we think you'll enjoy. We look forward to seeing you back here on Gear Music Tech soon. Bye for now!